It is a very special day in Lubbock, Texas today. It's part of the Alumni Weekend, honoring the women who built the Texas Tech program. Same can be said for Baylor, Caitlin Bickle. She's got to keep herself out of foul trouble tonight. Not a lot of depth on this Baylor team. How about Bramber Scott with a steal? Ends up with Shavers with a floater. One assist so far in the quarter. Why you say is that important? They had one assist in the first half versus West Virginia. That was a flop. Nobody bought Bickle going down. And the rejection into the hands of Lewis. And that's kind of what you look for when you shoot free throws. That's kind of a term you use to get to the middle of the paint, middle of the foul line, defensively, offensively. Bree Ember Scott weaves her way in. She's in double figures with 10. Maupin with seven. Shaver stops, launches over Little Page Bugs. Tech went to their zone there and changed things up. And Still got to find Sarah Andrews against that zone. You and I first saw the zone against Colorado was so effective. <laughs> and Shavers knocks down the three. Right now, Tech shooting just 28%. That would be the lowest they have shot this season. Inside, Lewis. Lewis, nice move inside. Jazz Lewis gets her first two. Well, Fowler Roy's not afraid to shoot the three. That's her 20th make of the season. Solid shooting percentage for three at 36. Tech comes back and answers. They don't respond really well. They did, though, when Texas Tech started out the third on a big run. Yeah, you know, Nikki said it starts to snowball at times, and they don't always respond well when teams go on a run. Baylor opening up an 18-point advantage. Oh, what a rejection. Great job by Little Paige Bugs. Her 14th block. They turn it over. Maupin got it. That'll be a 20-point lead. That is the biggest. And the three goes down. 